Welcome to Tech Time. I'm going to show you how to leak test the scope. First, I'm going to put on my gloves and take my leak tester and we'll connect it to the ETO valve. I lock the valve and I put some air into the scope around there. First thing I'm going to do is pressure check it before I submerge it. You can see that the pressure is stable. Just check the bending section to make sure it doesn't cause any, cause any loss in pressure. Just check the angulation controls. I can take it to the sink. The pressure is still stable. Keep the leak tester out of the sink. I now take my irrigator. You could use a rubber duck or a syringe. What I'm going to do now is get all the air out of the channels. Because if bubbles come out of our channels, it could look like a leak. When actually it's not a leak, it's just trapped air. Splashing the channels. You can see the bubbles coming out. Now I'm confident that the scope is fully flushed, so there's water in all the channels. I can then look for any streams of bubbles that will indicate a leak. You can check my leak tester to ensure that it hasn't lost pressure. Now there is a slight change in pressure there, but that could just be to do with atmospheric reasons, the temperature of the water, etc. So now I can look for leaks. Tweak the angulation a little bit. Move my bending section. So, once we've completed the check, the sink, I take the scope, and I'm going to support the scope and hold it up. Just let the water drain back out mostly into the sink. And I'm going to take it to the desk. Release the pressure. And with the leak tester. And then I'm going to dry the scope. 